Hey, what's good? It's your boy, Mixtape Moff, and today I'm going to do a review of the new Flea Lord and Buck Wild project entitled Hand Me My Flowers. Let's get to it. Flea Lord is a Queens, New York rapper. He's considered a new school MC, but he's got some skin in the game. He's 14 plus projects deep, and he also had the fortune of receiving guidance and instruction from the late great prodigy of Mob Deep. As a rapper, Flea Lord is boastful and grimy, and when I say grimy, I'm talking about the rap group Onyx style of grimy, in that slash your face with a box cutter and stomp you out with a pair of Timbo's sense of the word. The man has an impeccable work ethic. I believe he plans on releasing at least one project per month this year. This time he teams up with the criminally underrated producer Buckwild of DITC fame that is digging in the crates. Buck Wild is one of the more elite producers in New York hip hop. He's a legend who has done beats for some of the greatest MCs to ever touch a mic. Pause. Back in the day, if you saw that an album had a track that was produced by Buck Wild, you just knew that it was going to be one of the better tracks on the album. Just a quick rundown of some of the beats that Buck Wild is known for. He did OC's Times Up, Cool G Rap and Nas, Fast Life, Biggie's I Got a Story to Tell, and Black Rob's Whoa. So I already knew going into this project that Buck Wild wouldn't disappoint in the slightest. Now, I haven't heard every Flea Lord project, but I'm willing to go out on a limb and say that this is his best produced album yet. Buck Wild manages to lace Flea Lord with a combination of very crisp samples and lush boom bap instrumentals. Quite a few of these beats have some gorgeous strings added as well. There's a live instrumentation feel at times, as well as that classical orchestral sound throughout. The production is so on point, but let me get into a track by track breakdown. The intro track, Hand Me My Flowers, finds Flea Lord giving thanks to all of his supporters for rocking with him all these years. The beat is clean as fuck. It's an excellent piece of jazzy boom bap with that DITC stamp of approval. On Plug Talk, we get quite a bit of boastful coke raps and triple beam schemes. I like the organ production as well as the Latin styled horns. It's a swanky instrumental. His wordplay and rhyme scheme definitely stuck out to me on this one for sure. Beethoven with a stick has that symphony feel. I'm not sure if this actually samples Beethoven or not, but it sounds like it could have. The strings create this hurried anxiety that matches up quite well with Flea Lord's aggression. Although I was hoping this track was a little longer, uh, but it's one of my top picks due to the fire instrumental. The track 10 from the clip is more mid-tempo. The strings are luxurious, but there's a hypnotic quality to this cut overall. Regardless of how pretty the beat is, Flea Lord spits grimy lines like, Cup of white henny in the cup with my semi. When the slabs get on the counter, I'm a butcher like Benny. Conversely, Can't Fuck With Flea has more of a stripped back and simple approach. It's still polished, but yet gutter enough for Flea Lord to do some damage. On My Dean features more exquisite boom bap production. Some bars that stood out to me were Raining Like I'm Sean Kemp, 80 Hit You Long Length, Old School Sipping on That Dainy, Give Me More Strength, Lamb With The Fox Collar, Handful Of Hot Dollars, Purple Low Cut Valentinos, This Is Not Prada. The man is spitting. The bass line on Toast to My Neighbor sounds familiar. Uh, this is another one of the tracks that gave me strong 90s DITC vibes. It's also one of the punchier and grittier spots on the album. Gathering My Thoughts has a dope multi-layered instrumental, but unfortunately it's only a minute in length. I like the guitar. I could almost envision Fat Joe on this track for some reason. Something about the beat just seems very fitting for him. On from the change jar, Flea Lord talks turning his sorrows into success. The string loop is semi-eerie and suspenseful. 
I like this beat a lot. It makes me think of the cover art, which shows Flea Lord amongst the clouds. It's really a Griselda looking album cover now that I think about it. The project closes out with Shooter tapping on your window. This has a really smooth backdrop. It feels like a chilly morning in New York City. I like the chill pianos and faint strings. He even does a little storytelling, but what I also dug about this one was the chorus. My shooter tapping on your window. Overall, I give this album a rating of four out of five. This will likely fly under the radar, sadly, but Buck Wild gave Flea Lord some of the nicest production we'll probably see this year, next to maybe an Alchemist or Mad Lib produced album. Flea Lord didn't have to do a whole lot here, honestly, other than to not mess up, because I think many artists would sound solid over these beats, but he didn't disappoint. He's got one of the grimiest voices in rap at the moment, which is definitely his greatest attribute. However, his songwriting isn't the greatest. Uh, Concept-wise, he's not really giving us that much. And I've noticed this to be a reoccurring theme with a lot of his material. Nevertheless, he's really talented at channeling a rugged and grimy aesthetic in his music, and you can always count on him to add in some clever wordplay here and there. My favorite tracks include Plug Talk, Beethoven with a Stick, On My Dean, From the Change Jar, and Shooter Tapping on Your Window. Let me know what you thought of this album in the comment section below. Was this project dope? Was it a nope? What should I check out next? It's your boy, Mixtape Moth. I'm signing out, but be sure to hit that like button and please subscribe. As always, it's peace and blessings. Flea Lord, Buckwild, hand me my flowers. One.